die in the snow now. All right, so this is like snow paint, right? Yeah, it's like snow, snow paint. paint, and it's easy to make you just see food dye, water, and soap. First, you do. Like, you sit down. Well, well, first we get some old squeeze bottles. Okay, we got those. Yeah. Some soap squeeze bottles. You then need your food soap? coloring. Okay, we need a little bit of soap added. You said. You need like two squirts of soap on each bottle. Okay, so two squirts of soap. Wait, is this, from, is, this One, is this from online? Two. That's enough. Yeah. That's good. No, I just want to ask. Is that enough? Yes. Okay. And then you do the same with the other one. Okay. And then you fill the water up to there. Like to, how, only a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so we need this much water. And then you add the color. And you do five or four drops of it. So. Um. Do we need to add more water? This isn't very much water. Yeah, I think you should do. So let's add more water. Yeah. And then you need something to stir up with. But if we... Well, well you just jiggle it around. Yeah, but if, can we just shake it? Yeah, you can do that. But first, mommy needs to put more water in there. I can't seem to All right, scoot get it. Your stuff on. Okay. Well, get it once. We're all ready to go. Mine's blue. Mine's green. Come on. Brush, 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 brush. Yes. And the best way to put it on the snow is you use a squeeze bottle, and then you open it and you squeeze it. And why don't paintbrushes work? Because they're hard to go get on the snow. Good morning, friends. We're back outside again. Yes, we're trying to do a thousand hours outside and we haven't been very successful this week, but that's okay because it's a challenge, self-imposed challenge. If we meet it, that's great. If we exceed it, awesome. If we come close, that's okay. <laughs> the whole point of this challenge is just to get outside. So don't be discouraged if you can't do a thousand hours. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, just try to get outside. That's the whole point of this. It's chilly out, isn't it? Yes. So Magdalene's got multiple layers on today because it is minus 27 outside today. So she's got at least three layers on her head, four layers everywhere else, and a blanket. Yes, hello, and you're so happy. Because even at minus 27, it actually feels warmer than yesterday. Yes, I'll put the temperature right here in Fahrenheit. So you can see, look, I'm wearing, I don't have my glove on and it's not as cold today as it was yesterday. Because the wind, it makes a complete difference. So if you live in a windy area, the cold will affect you more. It is 100% true. So anyway, let's get to playing. <laughs> Welcome to Lowenwood Forest Homeschool. Welcome. So here we endeavor to spend as much time outside as we can. This is just my front porch. And our goal is 1,000 hours outside for 2019. That is our goal. Forgive me today, I have absolutely no makeup on. But on the 
topic of a thousand hours. Yes, I mentioned earlier, if you um, think that is an astronomical goal, you think I can't reach that, I am part of a Facebook group, which anyone can enter. Um, you do have to just get approval from the moderator and that is 150 hours for the year. And so again, that's hashtag 150 hours outside. And so I am part of that group. And what's amazing about that group is they, there is so many different tips and tricks constantly people asking really great questions and uh, answers to those questions from lots of different parents and lots of different people from different walks of life and what they do and have done in the past. And not only that, many different countries. There is, I think, 20 different countries. I know there's Iceland and the Philippines and um, every state in the US and Canada and um, the UK, Australia. I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Anyway, lots. <laughs> so you definitely want to go check them out. I am also there. Yeah, just representing homeschool. And there's a big homeschool contingent there too, if that's what you're interested in. So, I guess my question today is, is a thousand hours achievable for you? Is that a good goal? Or is 150 hours more achievable for you? For us, I am just trying to get us to the 150 hours by the end of the winter. So I think winter ends officially March 21st. So that is when I'm trying to get us 150 hours. So January, February, March to the end of winter. So best of luck to you, whichever fits your family best, best of luck to you. Mm -hmm.